Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Lu Stang Syamsulani and I am the group leader of group 3 with a group project development of an e-commerce platform. So our project is about the Bobandoko, which is a clothing and accessory business that has faced challenges due to the temporary closure of its physical store uh, that caused by uh, the economic downturn. So the CEO and the company developer decided to develop an e-commerce platform for their business. Their goal is to expand their market reach and enhance consumer involvement and also ultimately increase their business sale. So uh, this project has four detailed use case design. So for the first one is the use case design for registration of customer. So this is the document use case scenario. You can see in the report. And then this is the activity diagram. Uh, so for the activity diagram, uh, the customer must open the Bobandoko website and then the user or customer click the register uh, button to create an account and then they must enter registration data. If the data is valid, they need to register again and if the data is valid, their, their account is created. After the account is created, they need to log in to the website using uh, the account that they create at the registration interface before and also like the registration uh, interface if the data is invalid they need to log in again and if the data is valid the system will automatically bring the user go to the home page and then uh, at the home page there will be one button that they can view their profile and now this is a second diagram uh, you can see in the report and then this is the design input and output interface so this is the home page for guests which, uh, which is you can see at the top right corner uh, they need to log in or register first and then this is the register interface uh, and then this is the register also a register interface this is the pop-up uh, that will uh, pop uh, that will pop up if the customer successfully register the account and this is the login interface and this is the home page for the customer of the login their account and then this is the uh, view profile interface so that's all for me i will uh, pass to my other next member next we proceed to the use case design for admin management subsystem uh, first this is the common use case scenario then the activity diagram for the admin management subsystem first of all the admin needs to log in the system then he can update the product like edit delete or add the new product then he can view the order list and lastly he can view customer list this is the sequence diagram for admin management and this is the design input and output interface first the uh, admin needs to log in the system he uh, need to enter the this detail like the email and the password the email used is not, is need to be the bban.co email so it can log in the system as the admin then he can view this product that available in the system and he can make the change for the product that available here like edit the and delete the existing product or also he can add the new product if he enter the add new product this interface will show up he need to enter all the details here like description uh, category inventory insert the product image and the price and he can add the product after that he can choose the order function up here to view the order list that made by the user the screen will show the details about the order made lastly he can enter the customer button to view the customer list that make uh, that have registered to the to this uh, system this uh, interface will show the details about the customer like the date the account create the name their email status total order and the total of spending on the on this account i thank you to afnan so this is my use case design for place order okay this is the document use case scenarios uh, as you can see so for the activity diagrams, um, so when the customer want to buy the items or buy the product, so uh, the customer will choose the items and then the customer select the option like 
size or color and so on and there will be two buttons as you can see like this there will two button uh, buy now and add to chart so if the customer uh, want to add items to the chart he will add item to the chart and then uh, the customer view the items in the chart and then uh, customer will uh, will choose to cancel or confirm the items and then uh, the customer required to fill the requirement and then the customer can proceed to the payment so for the sequence diagram as you can see uh, the customer access the system by system class and then uh, customer view product uh, by view product methods from the product and then product will return the product uh, and then display to the customer and customer select the product uh, for the system and then if the customer want to buy the item now it will directly go to the invoice and then uh, uh, it will go to the payment so uh, if the customer want to add items into the chart it will use the method add to chart and then uh, customer want to view the uh, items in the chart use view chart method and then uh, we will return the items in the chart so uh, the system will display the chart and also display the total price and then uh, the, if the customer want to check out the items so we'll use the uh, method check out in the invoice so we'll directly go to the uh, payment method payment 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 so this is my design this uh, for the product and item display this is the chart if eh, this is the option for the items so this is the uh, fulfill requirement so also this is the chart so the customer can choose what items he want just click the button and then check out this is the total price so i think that's all for me thank you Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh my name is Amir and I would like to present about the use case design for payment so I will show the rough exam as a, as a clinic, uh, explanation for this system use case for payment so the use case name is payment customer and the unit ID is payment one and there are seven steps that we need to perform to make this is to make the payment to make the payment which is first it is customer seller confirm and order and then the system will display the payment interface second is customer with payment and the system will display the payment form and the customer will fill the payment detail and the data is stored in the database and customer from the payment is confirmed the system will display the payment confirmation payment page and the customer will view the transition and the counties will verify and the customer will receive, receive the receipt and send and the system will send the successful payment receipt so in this activity diagram there are three parts that will be divided is customer website, website server and company staff and the customer will confirm order and proceed to payment and will generate a form for the customer to receive to enter and receive data from the web and mm -hmm. such customer detail is the company staff is willing to and display invoice into payment and validate payment details to we will divide by two valid data and valid data if valid data we send back we send an error message back to the customer and valid data will verify payment make confirmation receipt and display confirmation of payment so this is a sequence diagram we have four which is customer provide local interface payment and card stuff it also shows the flow of the of the system if after clicking on the confirm confirmation order so this is the design for the checkout web checkout page on our website which shows as a de delivery option which is ship to address or in store pickup, register address names, address and phone number, and shop pickup shows the item that we want to buy. And this is the payment 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 methods page, which shows the payment option, which is in store payment and online banking for customers to choose either to choose, to use either of them, either of two pay, either of the two payment. And the pop-up notification page, which shows that the order has been verified and received receive and will be prepared and the and this is the digital digital receipt for the customer to, to use to view or to print for proof of evidence so this is the use case use this is the class diagram that shows the all use cases that we use in this system uh, which is a customer product admin card card stuff and payment so that's all for our presentation and thank you